Welcome back to another episode of Outdoor Chef Life. Today, we're in the woods, taking a hike, and we're gonna look for some mushrooms. Um, seeing as how there's been so much rain lately, there should be some mushrooms out now. And the coast has been really rough. I've been wanting to get out there, but it's been dangerous conditions, and not, I haven't been able to get there. So, man, anxiously waiting for the coast to calm down. Anyways, in the meantime, I thought I'd go look for some mushrooms and see what we can find. Me, personally, I'm not the most experienced with mushrooms, but I do know some. And when it comes to mushrooms, you really have to know what you're doing. And if you don't know what it is, you should never eat it unless you're 100% sure. So that's what I'm going to do today. If I find a mushroom that I'm 100% sure about, then I'll harvest it. If not, we'll just take a hike and take a look around, see how things are doing, and maybe come back a little bit later. A couple, in a week or so uh, with somebody who knows a little bit more and will harvest more mushrooms. All right, let's get to it. Oh yeah, and I have my glasses on because you need really good vision for this and that really helps. Got up and I was about to take off and right off the bat, I see something right over there. It's that right there. Let's go take a look. Looks like a, maybe an old chicken of the woods or something. Pretty old and out of the stage where you can eat them. But cool, found one right away. There's a couple of polypores there. Not really edible. I think they use it for medical or medicinal use. Feels like just part of the wood. That is not gonna touch that one. One looks suspicious. Well, I haven't found anything yet. Just a bunch of these big polyvores that are inedible. Uh, found nothing good. Well. Adventure on, I guess. All right, I'm good. Whew. I just spotted something right now. Take a look at that right in the middle of the screen. Let's go check that out. All right, all right. Take a look at this right here. Wow. This is a big cluster of oyster mushrooms. This species here is one of the species that I am 100% certain about. These are oyster mushrooms, and this is the coastal variety. There's an inland, oh, I almost slipped. There's an inland variety that also looks similar, but they're a little darker in color. These ones on the coastal variety are the lighter, much lighter, white, almost uh, sort of a beigeish white color. These are very common mushrooms that you'll even see in the supermarket. I just hit the jackpot on oyster mushrooms. There's a bunch of bigger ones. There's newer ones growing in here. Uh, these are pretty big as well. Some of them are going bad, um, but a lot of them, a lot of them look pretty good actually. So like I said in the beginning, if I'm 100% sure about the mushrooms, I'll harvest it and make something. And here you go, guys. I am 100% sure about this one. So, well, let's harvest some. These are getting a little old, but this big one right on top, it's looking pretty good. Looking healthy. Let's look at the bottom. Yeah, underneath, the gills are looking good. Really healthy. And this one over here, feels all pretty good. Nice. Go to this huge cluster here. This is a big cluster, look at this. Look at that. A couple big ones. Some of this is getting old here. But overall it looks pretty good, nice and healthy. Um, there's some little ones growing over there as well. Look at that little one. <laughs> that. Uh, 
Uh, you see the, the white powdery stuff there? That's just the spores. That's the spores from the other, the bigger one on top. Just kind of sprinkling down on the ones underneath. And you see here the stem. It's pretty solid. There's like one little hole. But besides that, it's really clean. So, no bugs. All good to eat. Look how big that is. Beautiful. You see, I told you my glasses come in handy. I saw that from way over there, through all the brush. Oh yeah. Let me finish picking. I'm not going to take everything, because I don't think I'm going to use all of this. This is a lot. This is a lot of oyster mushrooms. And I got picked a few other ones already. One big one. Little one. And this one. You know, I think that's enough. Look at that. This is already a lot. Well, I'll leave the rest for somebody else. One of you guys. I'm just going to take this much. It's a nice big handful. And let's go make something. Man, what an adventure. You know, one thing I love about the Bay Area, you could be in the city, but then the next minute, you could be surrounded by nature. Oh. I'm getting a little out of breath. All right, let's go. Damn, this is steep. I definitely did not come down this way. All right, all right. That was pretty fun. What an adventure. It's nice to get off the coast once in a while. Have some fun in the woods. Whew. It's a lot more of a workout, I think. Look at what I just found walking along the trail. Check this out. This right here is wild onion. Yeah. And these are delicious. All the ones with the white flowers. You can tell because if you pick it, they have this triangular, triangular kind of stem. It's not flat like this. It's not a flat leaf. It's, look at this, kind of a triangle. And they also have this. And if you smell it, it should smell exactly like onion. Yep. Ooh, yep. Strong like onion. Like, um, actually more like, it's more like chives. Mm -hmm. like, you know, when you cut up chives, you get that nice aromatic. Yeah. There's a decent amount of them. I can see there's more growing over there. Ah, cool. Well, let's take a little bit of this. Ooh, look at this. Right in the middle of the onions. Right in the middle of the wild onions. Look at, look at what's next to it. Right here. This that look like carrot top. Yeah, that's not carrot top. That's called poison hemlock. Or poisonous hemlock. That is very poisonous. That can actually kill you if you eat that. So don't eat that. The ones that look like carrot tops. Avoid those. Beautiful. We'll add that to the dish. Well, that's a cool find. I wasn't even looking for that. But wild onion is delicious. So, that's good. I'm just going to give these mushrooms a little wash. Try to get as much dirt off as possible. Give the onions a little wash too. It's possible that some dogs did pee on them. <laughs> All right, I just found a nice spot to cook here. So let's cook up that mushroom. Simple and delicious. That's the name of the game right now. Start off with garlic and onions. All right, here's my garlic. Just chop it up. All right, here's my little onion. Let me dice it up. Just a little bit of butter. There's a good amount of wind blowing now, so it's making it a little bit difficult. I need to use this box. There you go. 
Get the garlic and onions in there. Some dried chili peppers. Crush it into the pot. Mix that up. All right, inside of there, I'm going lentils. Sprinkle of lentils. Mix that around. I'm using salted butter, so I'm not gonna use any extra salt here. Now I have coconut milk. Coconut milk, that's right. Ooh, a little mess. Some parts are solidified because it's pretty cold out here. Okay, now I'm gonna bring that up to a boil. So it's been about almost 10 minutes in here, and now I'm gonna add the mushrooms. I already chopped up the mushrooms. I'm just gonna add it in. Yup. It's gonna be filled with mushrooms. Ooh, that's a lot. All right, all right, all right, might as well. Just go all in. That might be a little too much mushrooms, but let's go for it. It's supposed to be kind of like a stew. The mushrooms should release some moisture as well, so I think it's gonna add to the soup. That's what I'm going for here. Like a coconut milk stew. It's really good. Uh, a lot healthier than using cream. Nice substitution. I usually make this with just a bunch of vegetables and lentils. Carrots, I put eggplants, potatoes, lentils, and put kale, all kinds of vegetables in there. Uh, mushrooms too. All right, it's about done. Let me just check the lentils. Mm -hmm. Yep, lentils are cooked. Mushroom is cooked. Sprinkle the wild onion on here. This is the stem part. Put some of those flowers in there. It's gonna be delicious. And it's gonna make me warm. All right, well, let's eat. It's pretty cold out here. Mm. Ooh, nice. Ooh, nice and spicy. Ooh, I like it. Mm. Honestly, at the beginning of the day, I didn't really think I was gonna find any mushrooms that I was gonna be able to eat. Um, so I didn't come prepared really. I don't have any uh, my knives or uh, any spices. Um, it could use a little more salt, some pepper. The dried chilies are a nice kick. Ooh, the pot's nice and warm now. I can put my hand on it. Oh. Mm. Oyster mushrooms are good. They don't have um, as much of that earthiness as some mushrooms do. More of a mild, mild flavor mushroom. But the texture, texture is really nice. Mm. Uh, as far as the mushrooms, yeah, I didn't really see too many. I think I'll give it a couple weeks and go back out there with a friend that knows a little bit more than me about mushrooms so we can gather some really good ones. Mm, 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 mm. <sighs> Let me know in the comments below if you guys like this mushroom foraging video and if I should do more because I do like mushrooms. It's perfect for these days that the coast is so rough. I can come inland and do a mushroom video. So let me know if you guys liked it. Um, subscribe if you do. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out.